This was once the house of a high overseer. Lydia Boyle took special care to desecrate each and every room. Old friends are cut from the guest list at the nearest room of plague. Tonight, the nobles try to conceal their indiscretions behind masks and costumes. The other families dare not make a move without first approval from the three ladies' spoil. Don't be fooled if you hear laughter or happen upon a smile. There is no light so merry and dear. When the last of the hyphen is gone, darkness will fall. This was once the house of a high overseer. Lydia Boyle took special care to desecrate each and every room. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? In <clears throat> Enjoying yourself. Three of us at Tom. Tell me about it. Four of us up here guarding an empty hallway. What's that mean to you? Relax. We're just the reserves. In case what? Lady Boyle tries to shake down one of her guests? It's something else. You can feel it at the party, though. Everyone's nervous. Something's coming. I wish it were Marcy. Just stay alert.
the squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. feast this year? No, no, no. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst.
hello to you, Corvo. I imagine you made that masquerade a lively event. I doubt there will be another high society party that will live up to it. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. The copper wiring is making all the difference. Increasing the output by almost 50% yet. The whale oil still has too many impurities. I need to find a way to filter it myself if that idiot can't provide a better grade. Even the Academy doesn't have anything that will refine to the specifications I require. Something new then. Perhaps using charcoal or a multiple chamber device. I feel confident that the answer will come to me tonight as I slumber. I trust you enjoyed Attention, the Boyle's Dunwall hospitality. Citizens. The masked criminal is believed to be hiding. Quarantine district. All citizens must report unexplained lights, odds. and signs of conflict originating from evacuated buildings. Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. Attention Dunwall citizens. The streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off limits pending an ongoing investigation. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo, but I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. I regret my connections haven't been more used to you. When this business is over, though, then you'll see what I'm worth. They speak with the Lord Regent's authority. Havelock is attempting to have as many of the Lord Regent's guards reassigned as possible, but he may not succeed. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached unreasonable levels. I miss Morgan a little. Custis? Maybe not so much. Parliament's been paralyzed for weeks, just the way we need. Lady Boyle's party was nothing compared to what I have planned at Pendleton Manor. Hello, sir. I 
just don't like the way they look at me. I'm not a fool. I know I'd be the first to go if they got rid of people. My old mother used to work at the boils. The stories she'd tell. I don't think that the boils are at all good looking. What I wouldn't give to go to one of those parties. Must seem a little drab coming back here. I'm taking part in history here. Dunwall is on the verge of a new age, a better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered. The worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. And one feisty little girl who hides the sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. But perhaps someday someone will listen to this and know that a humble sailor named Samuel was a part of it all. I'm taking part in history here. Dunwall is on the verge of a new age, a better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered, as the worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. And one feisty little girl who hides the sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. But perhaps someday someone will listen to this and know that a humble sailor named Samuel was a part of it all. Pendleton's here someplace. The river's the only way out of here. Things are moving pretty fast now, eh? All that with Lady Boyle just now will probably put the Lord Regent into a state. I'll be ready in case you need to leave in a hurry. I'm tired, but as long as you're up and about, I'm gonna stand at the ready, Corvo. You go update the others, sir, and I'll watch the water. Like as not, they'll come from the river if they come. I like it out here by the water's edge. The sound of the river is relaxing. A pity about the smell. I never did sleep right on land. The sea's in my blood. Corvo. Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Attention Dunwall citizens, you are urged to consider presenting children between the ages of 7 and 10 to the Abbey to be tested. As overseers, they will be well provided for and serve the well-being of the community and the city. Shh! Don't make any sound! I'm hiding from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river, in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it, as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while, anyway. What are the principal islands in the Empire? Uh, Circanos, Gristol, Tivia, and Morley. And which one is the biggest? Gristol. And it's the best one, too. And how does whale oil work? That one's a trick. No one knows. 
Not even Piero. Excuse us, Corvo. I'm afraid you're a little distracting for the girl. I need to start Emily on her sums. Perhaps she can inventory our whiskey supplies. Calissa talks in her sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. I wish I had my own room. Just think. Our future Empress has a bar for a schoolhouse. When I'm Empress, I'll never have to live in a place like this again. As you can see, Lady Emily has quite an imagination. Any child would grow a little odd in a place like this. I dreamed the river got higher and higher, and we all climbed up to the top floor of the house into your room, but then the water turned into rats. I never have good dreams here. Do you think there's any treasure buried under here? I dug a hole once, but all I found was old bones. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses, but Calissa made me throw it away. Calissa talks in her sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. I wish I had my own room. Do they make you clean your own room? I have to. Hello, love. I once snuck into a party at the Brimsleys. Very strange it was, too. Had a fun night out, did you? I bet you enjoyed yourself over there. I do like a masked ball. So mysterious. No one likes a party better than I do. Attention, Dunwall citizens, if you notice suspicious lights or sounds emanating from evacuated buildings, please bring this to the attention of the City Watch. you will still need to study. And as Empress, you'll have proper tutors, one for each subject, and many personal servants. She asks if she'll have spies. Yes, I tell her, I suppose you will. And advisors, so many advisors your head will spin. She wants a cake maker. Well, I tell her you'll have a whole kitchen staff with an army of chefs. And of course she asks if she can have cake every, every day. And I say, if that is your wish, my young Empress, which, always makes her giggle. Sometimes she gets so sad remembering these things. They remind her of a poor mother. It's been six months, and Emily is resilient, but sometimes I can hear her crying when she thinks I'm asleep. Hello. 
I am Calista, and I am Emily's teacher, and this is my lesson plan. Boring sums, boring history, boring geography, boring, boring, boring seven structures. Ugh. Why can't we study sword fighting, and sailing, and, and monsters? Attention Dunwall citizens, the streets adjacent to Boyle Men remain off-limits pending an ongoing investigation. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. You've come very far, Corvo. We are almost there. We are moving closer and closer to an empire free of the corrupt and depraved. Not much further now, Corvo. Only a matter of time before this is all over. I wish if it I goes had a our way. Of your skills, I did. Glorious. Years gone by. There was rioting in the Taylor's district last night. The people demanding food, elixir against the plague, and better treatment. Stiltwalker guards set some of them on fire. The Boyle Manor is a hornet's nest today. Hmm. I wonder if Lydia has put on tea yet. The Admiral has been telling me about sea life. It sounds like a fine way to live. Then again, I'm sure he'd enjoy the opulence of Dunwall Tower. Lord Regent Hiram Burroughs must sense that his time is running out.
Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything. 